Hi, this is Mike for Themify, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to the Post Type Builder, a new all-in-one WordPress plugin for creating custom post types, taxonomies, and post type templates without any coding. To get started, I'll simply install the plugin by going to Plugins, Add New. From here, I'll click Upload Plugin, and now I'll simply browse to the place on my computer where I've already downloaded the Themify Post Type Builder plugin from Themify. I will select the zip file and click open. I'll click install now. And I'll click activate the plugin. After installing the plugin, you'll notice a new menu item over here, the post type builder plugin, as well as instructions on how to import sample data. To get started, I'm going to simply follow the instructions on how to import sample data. I'm going to go to import, export, I'm going to scroll down to import and click browse. Now the sample data comes with the plugin, so to install the sample data, simply navigate to WP Content within your WordPress install, go to Plugins, Themify PTB for Post Type Builder, and from there go into Sample. We're going to import the sample post types, which is a JSON file found right here, simply by clicking that and clicking import. After importing the file, you'll notice here in the admin sidebar we have new options for our new post types, properties, movies, and restaurants. And now to continue getting started, I'll include some sample WordPress posts by going down to Tools, Import. WordPress is going to ask me what type of posts I'd like to import, and I'd like to import WordPress posts. Again, I'm going to browse the file that I'd like to import, which is again located inside the plugin folder in sample and WP sample posts. I select that and click open and click upload file and import. From here, you can choose to assign authors and import attachments. I'm going to click download and import all of file attachments and I'm going to click submit. After the import is complete, I'll simply take a look at the front page and you'll see that we have a number of new additions here for properties, movies, and restaurants as well as items in our menu for movies, properties, and restaurants. Next I'm just going to jump back into the dashboard and add a new post type. I'm going to click on the post type builder, click on post types, from here you see the post types that we've imported for a movie, property, and restaurant, and I'm just going to click on Add New. I'm going to add a label to my new post type of Portfolio. I'm going to add a plural label of Portfolios. You'll notice that the slug type is already added for me. I can add a description. This supports a number of different features such as the title, the content editor, tags, excerpt, a number of different taxonomies. But I'm going to scroll down here to the meta box builder and I'm going to click add field and I'm going to add a text field. The name I'm going to give this text field is client. I'm going to click on add field and I'm going to add a text area. I'm going to name this text area project description. And now I'm going to add another field and I'm going to click on checkbox. I'm going to give this checkbox a name of project type. And here for my options, my first option, I'm going to make web. You have the option to pre-check this or not. My second option, I'm going to say design. I'm going to add a third option here and I'm going to call this CSS slash HTML. I like what I have here, although I have the option for additional custom labels and advanced options. But liking what I have, I'm going to click on Save. And this will bring me to the Add New Template area. 
I'm going to give my new template a name of portfolio and click Save. From here I have the option to edit the archive template or the single post template. I'm going to edit the archive template. A modal with all the template options will pop up and in this template I would like to show the title and content are already here. I'd like to show the featured image. I'm simply going to drag that in. I'm going to arrange it underneath the title. Underneath that I would like to show the client as well as the project description. And I will remove the content. After designing the template the way that I like it, I can click Save. The template updated successfully, and I will close. I'll now edit the single post template by clicking Edit Single Post Template. Our options for the single post template come up. And again, I'd like to show the featured image, the title, the client, the project type, and the content. I'll now click Save. The template has successfully updated, and I will close. Here in the admin sidebar, you'll notice that we have portfolios along with restaurant, movies, and properties. And I'm going to click on Add New. And here I'll add a new portfolio post. Let's say in my portfolio I've worked for a client called Joe's Pizzeria. I'll add some content. I will set the feature image. And I'll scroll down to the meta box, which is exactly as we set it up in the template. And I'll say the client is Joe's Pizzeria. Uh, new website design and online menu. And this project involved web design, CSS, and HTML. I will now publish our portfolio post type, and I'll take a look at it on the front end. And there we have it. I'll now add a few new portfolio post types by going to New, and you'll see that here we have Portfolio. And I'll add Jill's Bakery. Give it a little content, set a featured image. This cupcake will do nicely. Set the client in the meta box of Jill's Bakery. And I'll say um, update site and domain transfer. and this was primarily just a web design. I'll click on Publish, and I'll add one more. I'll set this to Stan's Window Repair. Add a little bit of content, set a featured image, client, stands window repair, and let's just say this was primarily a graphic logo design, at which point it would not be web, it would simply be design. I'll click on Publish, and from here I'm going to click on View Portfolio, 
And you'll see that what we have here on the front end is exactly what we built in our template with the title, the featured image, the client, the type of work, and the content. And from here what I'll do is I'll make a new page. And what you'll find in the add new page, I'll call this portfolio. We now have a new icon here, the PBT shortcodes. And you can add shortcodes, which will show every post from that particular post type. So I'll click on portfolios. I'll order by the date, descending, pagination, I'll turn that on. 10 posts per page, style, category, I'll say OK. We automatically generate our shortcode. I will click on Publish and view the page. And you'll see all of our custom post types displayed right here, just the way that we arranged them in our template. And that's how easy it is to use the new Themify Post Type Builder to build all of your custom post types, taxonomies, and post type templates. Thank you.